Today I read The Little Moment, episode 11, Inside the Princess Palace. The little moment wanted to see her family before she left. But when she reached her father's palace, everyone was asleep. She felt a great sadness. I'm leaving my home forever, she thought, and I can't even say goodbye. Then, just before dawn, she swam to a cliff near the prince's palace. The little moment could see the balcony after she crawled up on the rocks. One on shore, she swallowed the bitter brew. Suddenly, she felt a horrible, a horrible pain, like a straw streaking her tiny body. As she fed the little moment, saw her tail begin to spit in two. When she awoke, she found herself on a vetured couch. Her body was covered by a cape. She looked up and saw the prince standing over her. I saw you lying on the rock, the prince said. Who are you? And where do you come from? I am your true love. She wanted to say, I saved you from the sea. But of course she could not speak. So she smiled at the prince, hoping he could understand. Come now, don't be frightened, the prince said warmly. But the little moment could only look at him with love. What is your name? He asked. The moment was silent. Finally, he said, I do not know. Why you will not speak, but you still need my aid. The brain has a little moment stand up as the seaweed had worn. Every footstep fell as if she were walking on knives. Yet to the brain she looked perfect. As they walked, she guided to the horse at likely at a cloud. How grateful you are, the prince said as he led her into his room. He called his servant and ordered them to bring some clothes, dressed her as an honest guest of the royal palace, he commanded. Then he turned to her and asked softly, Could you like to accompany to, to like to act? Accompany me to the royal performance today. The little mermaid nodded eagerly. After the servant dressed her in a blue silk dress, the prince led her to the palace hall to introduce her to his parents. How beautiful you are! exclaimed the queen. Where do you come from? But of course, the little moment could not answer. A tall woman entered the hall to perform for the beast and his parents. She sang very sweetly, and the prince clapped, clapped his hand in delight. The little moment sadly thought, I want to sing even more sweetly. I think it's Mandy. But as the little Moment, listen, she was surprised that she felt like dancing. She lifted her arm and her grateful feet guide across the floor. The little moment danced so muchly that she charmed everyone, especially the prince. You are so special, he said. I will only keep you keep you with me and call you my little company. The little moment smile. The little moment smile up at him. Her eye asked, "Is that a promise?" As time went on, the little moment became the prince's best friend. He took her with him wherever he went. He walked to the royal gardens and rode to the fields on horseback. He climbed mountains that almost reached the sky, and to she could not speak to him. She kept smiling, even as her face stung with paint. I read is finished. Goodbye, everyone.